This video demonstrates how to train an AI model to evaluate startup pitches based on Mark Cuban's investment patterns from Shark Tank. I'll show you how to implement FewShot in Context Learning, a method where a language model learns to perform a task by seeing a few examples within the input prompt without modifying its parameters. This technique allows the model to generalize from minimal data, making it adaptable to new tasks with just a small set of examples. In this case, we'll feed the generative AI model a set of Shark Tank pitches, three that Mark Cuban invested in and three that he rejected. Then we'll present the Mark Cuban AI with startup pitches from Shark Tank that it hasn't encountered before, some that secured investments and others that were rejected to see how it evaluates them. To get a clearer picture of its decision-making consistency, we'll run a Monte Carlo simulation, generating 100 AI responses for each pitch to analyze its investment patterns. So this is not an exhaustive carbon copy of Mark Cuban's investment history, but rather a model trained to recognize patterns in his decision-making based on a select set of examples. It generalizes from these examples to assess new pitches, mimicking his investment style without having direct access to his full track record. We're focusing on Mark Cuban here, but a broader use case for this type of code is to train AI models to emulate expert decision-making across different fields. This code can be run locally with Olama, a framework that allows you to run language models directly on your computer, even on a several years old laptop. You can use open source models like DeepSeek R1, Meta's Llama 3.2, Google's Gemma, or Phi4 by Microsoft. For this project, I'll be using Llama 3.2 and Phi4. Within our Python environment, we'll use Olama for running the language model, along with Pydantic and JSON, to ensure the simulation responds with structured outputs. This approach allows us to reliably parse and analyze the AI's investment decisions. Before we get started, a quick note. This tutorial is for educational purposes only and is not financial or investment advice. The results will vary depending on the training data and the model used. And don't forget, this AI is not actually Mark Cuban. It's just a simulation based on public information and does not reflect his real opinions or decisions. To get the code running, start by heading to the Olama website and downloading the latest version for your operating system. Once installed, open your command prompt or terminal and type Olama run Llama 3.2 to install the Llama 3.2 model on your computer. After it's finished, exit the Olama terminal by holding down Control and D to return to your regular command line. From there, install Phi4 by typing Olama run Phi4. Hit Control and D again to get back to the regular command line, and now create a new virtual or conda environment with Python version 3.9.21. Then use pip to install Pydantic, Olama, and IPy kernel. That's it for the libraries we'll need. With the environment now set up, shift to a code editor that supports Jupyter Notebooks and import the libraries and the necessary modules. JSON handles structured data, Olama runs the language model, and Pydantic ensures the AI's responses follow a consistent format. We'll begin by defining a structured output model using Pydantic. The investor decision class enforces a strict response format, requiring the language model to return a JSON object with a single key, offer. While the Pydantic model enforces the structure of the response, it doesn't define the specific values for offer. Instead, we'll specify the expected responses later in the prompt, which will be either, I like what I see, I'm willing to invest, or I'm out. This ensures that every response follows a predictable structure, making it easy to parse and analyze. Next, we define the investor persona, which will become a key part of the full prompt. This section instructs the AI to simulate Mark Cuban's decision-making style. While I've outlined a few key traits, the model already has general knowledge of Cuban since he's a public figure. But if you were applying this approach to a lesser known investor or venture capitalist, you'd need to provide much more detail for the AI to accurately replicate their decision-making process. To ensure structured output, the AI is explicitly required to respond in JSON format, preventing unstructured text and allowing its decisions to be processed programmatically. The prompt clearly defines the two possible responses, ensuring consistency in how the model classifies each pitch. To reinforce this decision-making approach, we use FewShot in-context learning, providing the language model with real Shark Tank pitches 
that Cuban either offered to invest in or rejected. These examples establish clear patterns, helping the AI recognize what differentiates a strong pitch from one that gets rejected. I made the successful and unsuccessful pitches equally appealing, giving context about the product, the target user, and a made-up equity request. This ensures that the model isn't making decisions based on superficial differences in presentation, but instead learns to assess each pitch based on deeper investment criteria. Next, we introduce two new pitches that the AI has not seen before. Toy Guru, a toy rental subscription service, was an actual Shark Tank investment made by Mark Cuban. Signal Vault, a credit card security device, was a pitch he rejected. Both are structured in the same format as our few shot examples, providing clear details on the product, target user, and a hypothetical equity request. The simulation function runs multiple trials to determine how often the AI chooses to invest in a given pitch. By executing 100 independent runs, it generates an investment probability, giving insight into the AI's decision-making consistency. First, we define invest equals zero, a counter to track how many times the AI decides to invest. Next, we construct the full prompt, which includes the few shot examples, brief instructions, and the new pitch. This structured input ensures the AI evaluates pitches with the same context each time. The final prompt explicitly instructs the AI to respond in JSON format, making output validation easier. The function then enters a loop, running 100 iterations. In each iteration, we create a messages list, where the system message contains the investor persona, setting the AI's decision-making framework. And the user message contains the full prompt, including example pitches and the pitch to be evaluated. We pass these messages to Olama's chat function, specifying format equals JSON to enforce structured output. Next, we attempt to parse the AI's response using Pydantic's model validate JSON function. This ensures the response follows the expected format, containing a single offer key. We extract the value, convert it to lowercase, and check if it contains, I'm willing to invest. If so, we increment the invest counter. If the AI returns an invalid response, we catch the error, log debugging info, and continue to the next iteration. Once all simulations are complete, we compute the investment probability by dividing the total number of invest responses by the total number of runs. The result is printed as a percentage, providing a measurable way to compare the AI's choices to Mark Cuban's real investment decisions. So at this point, the code is fully set up. Let's run the simulation function for the unseen successful and unsuccessful pitches. And we can see that for the unseen successful pitch, the simulated Mark Cuban invests in it 92% of the time. And for the unseen unsuccessful pitch, the simulated Mark Cuban invests in it 73% of the time, which is less than the successful pitch but still above 50%. But let's try Microsoft's 5.4 now. The O Llama distribution of it is 14 billion parameters versus Llama 3.2, which was 3 billion parameters. For 5.4, 100% of runs predicted investment in the successful pitch. And 0% of runs predicted investment in the unsuccessful pitch. So we can clearly see substantial differences across models with 5.4 showing greater accuracy compared to LAMA 3.2. This is not an exhaustive analysis, but it shows how the results are sensitive to model choice. If you found this tutorial useful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Deep Charts channel for more videos on how to leverage the latest AI tools.